What's up, Psychics fans? Welcome to the Psychics Podcast. My name is Chris Escalera, and I'm here with Raul Acosta, number 19, defender for the Dallas Psychics. What's up, man? How you been? Good, bro. I'm Briggs. Right now, I'm just recovering from this um, ACL tear that I had not so long ago. It's been tomorrow to make it week 11, I believe so. So, yeah, I've just been doing that, trying to get healthy. I'm at uh, Elite Alliance Physical Therapy up in Oakland, the yeah, Oakland area. Oakland area. Yeah, it's nice, really nice. How'd the injury happen? So we were going against the, the Empire Strikers, and I hit the ball against the wall. And as soon as, like, bro, it was like my second shift in, man, beginning of the game. And I took a shot, and as soon as I took the shot, I put all my weight onto this leg. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dude kept running. Took me out, bro. I heard a pop. I already know exactly what it was, man. And I, I was recovering. It was like nine weeks I did recovery. And then um, very first practice back, bro. Again. Yeah, I, mean, I was yeah, running I, quick. I, I you were there, right? Yeah, 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 bro. I was running. Took a fast stop. Renato kept going. I took a fast stop. I just I, like shifted up, bro. Pop. Complete pop, bro. And I was. Were you supposed to be training? Yeah. You, you yeah, were, yeah. You were, that, you were good. Yeah, Dr. Desai said I was good. He was like, you know, give it nine, ten weeks. It was ten weeks on the dot. And then, like, sorry. It didn't feel, it didn't feel weird? It didn't. Nah, bro. It felt weird, bro. Once you heard that, well, I tore this one, bro. So when I heard the pop oh, this on this one. First knee, nah, know. bro. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm still young, but I got some knees like him, man. I'm struggling out here and. It's crazy, man. What about you, bro? You don't got any injury? Man, luckily I haven't had enough, nothing major. Maybe a ligament in the ankle, but I'm, I was out for maybe three a month. During the season? No. Uh, or this like, was, man, this was two years ago. It's when I was playing more uh, outdoor, like open cup. Uh, I injured it in indoor, but yeah, it was just like a ligament. Yeah, every time I walk, it was like a little sharp pain. But even then, like, man, luckily I haven't had a serious injury. So, um, yeah, even that ligament, man, it was so hard to, like, stay away from the field. So you felt it? Yeah, I felt it, but I, I, I went back, like, second, third week. And, but I still felt it, but it, it went away. Like, like I, was, I was chilling, but, yeah, thankfully, it's not going to real quick, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really had a major, major injury. So where you from, bro? Oak Cliff, man, born and raised. Born and raised? Born and raised south side of Dallas, man. Uh, my whole family grew up there. Uh, yeah. Growing up playing, started wreck right there in Oak Cliff. Where are you from? Oak Cliff also, bro. Where? What part? Well, Southside, I'm in like, like near Illinois and 20. I'm off, I'm off Illinois. Or Illinois and 35. I always lived on Illinois. It was on the, like growing up, when I was younger, I was on the south side, then I moved to the other side. Like, you know where Keys Park is? Like the neighborhood's on the side of it. That's where I was raised most of my life. I'm right there. Bro. For real? I'm you still too? there. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, bro. Played there, Keys Park, growing up till I was like 15. It was like dirt fields. Dirt fields, grass, Man. gunshots, all that. It was, hey, <laughs> good memories though, hey. Yeah. Real good memories. You kind of get used to that though. Yeah. It's like, man, it's just. It, you know, it's the, it's the neighborhood. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm trying to get it. Man, I love, I love, I love where I'm from, but man, I'm trying to. Yeah, trying to get out, yeah, man. Yeah, we got to make it out, man. Yeah, I got to get out, man. To Oak Cliff. I didn't, I didn't even know you are from Oak Cliff. What? For yeah, real. Yeah. You, you go all the way to Carrollton for Toka? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's a drive, bro. Uh, I kind of get kind of used to it. I kind of get used to it, but yeah, man. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do, no? Yeah. I used to, man, back when I was like, right, right after I got out of college, I was working like construction and landscaping and... Yeah, that was that was working in Plano, bro. For real? Yeah. So I don't mind the drive going to Carrollton, cause you know, then I'm training, you know. So I yeah, can't. You got your clientele, all your money. Yeah, I can't can't complain about that. Where'd you go to college? You went to college. Uh, went to. So fourteen, fifteen, I went to Hill Hill College, which was a little JUCO, like an hour south of Dallas. Mm -hmm. Uh, played there. Um, started both years, my. My sophomore year, that's that was like probably my best year. Um, came out with 30, 32 goals in the season. Both years at Hill, we went to uh, we went to the national tournament, first time in program history. We went back to back, and yeah, my second year, 
got about third. I want to say thirty one goals. You? Yeah, out of like sixteen, seventeen games. Really? Bro, that year, I, no lie, you, you can look this up. I had six hat tricks, and I had three in a row, like every game. What position are you? I was playing. We played a four three three, so I was left forward. But what do you, uh, you what are you doing playing defense here, bro? Huh? You play defense here, no? Yeah, uh, I guess because they told me, you know, I got to touch, I know how to move, I know how to see the ball. It's crazy though, cause like even like uh, wherever I'm playing now, like I'm playing a little bit more defense, but uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, like I can score, I can score. And back then, I'm like, I look back, man. I'm like, <sighs> like damn, I was, I was actually, yeah. cause I'm humble. I'm, I'm a humble player. And I look back, I'm like, damn, I was pretty, I was Wrong. pretty good. I was balling. And oh, no. yeah, that that year I left an All American. He's All American. Yeah, first team All American. I was an All American. So um, that's when Midwestern. Uh, they recruited me, but things didn't go as planned, so uh, I came back and just started playing uh, Open Cup, mm -hmm. the U.S. Open Cup. I did that for like six years. Um, my fifth year, we went we went for play with a local team. Um, actually, me and Vic Moore played on that team together. That's how I met Vic Moore. Me, Vic, MJ, Jamie. That's how I, that's how I met them. The team. Uh, NTX uh, Rayados. Rayados. Yeah. Cool. So cool then sure. my fifth my fifth time playing an open cup with them we uh, we went pretty far we played a uh, Houston Houston Dynamo at Houston and oh, I think that was like the fourth round the third round we beat OKC Energy that was a, that was a pretty big that was big jig bro we, we we think it was like five to two we beat them it be Energy they're in Tulsa no yeah yeah it's yeah, a solid rock team yeah. yeah so then we went to Houston, play Houston, and then, uh, yeah, obviously, 3-0. But good experience. No, I'll tell you I that. bet, Really bro. good experience. Playing against an MLS team like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's different, man. The atmosphere and stuff. So that's why when I came here to Sidekicks, it took me a game or two to a game to get comfy, you know? Same, same, but, same. But you got to play home, right? You, hmm. Most of the season, you got to play home at the, the home stadium? No. Here with the oh, sidekicks. Yeah, yeah, the... yeah, mostly home games, yeah. It's pretty cool. Bro. Yeah. I so, where'd you go to school? So, I went to um, Life, Waxahachie. I graduated 2020. Life? Yeah? Life, Waxahachie, bro. You that, is that a Christian school or something? Yeah, it's a charter school, bro. Charter school? Yeah, charter school up in down more south, down more south. And um, I went there, bro, graduated. They didn't really help in the recruiting process because, I mean, it was a small school. The soccer program had just started. Was that 4A? Yeah, for a we went from a three eight zero four eight, bro. So imagine, you know, pretty small school. Yeah. But yeah, I went there, bro. Um, but thank God I got um, scouted from club to go to a smaller school called Northeastern Oklahoma. Really small school, bro. Neo. Neo. Yeah, I've been um, with them. like past up north of Tulsa in a small, yeah, small town of Miami, Oklahoma. I went there, first year there, tore my ACL. Yeah, tore it. Mid-season or what? Or like nah, when? bro, like, the season hadn't even started. Wow, preseason. Preseason, yeah, bro. Nah, it wasn't even there, but I had got hurt here. Oh, you got hurt here. Because I was playing with um, Real GP. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Yeah, Dallas yeah. Classic League. Yeah, yeah, I was playing with them. I played with them for a year. And we were going down to Houston for a Rayales International mm -hmm. tournament. and. Yeah, I got, I got like the same thing. What happened uh, against Empires? The same thing happened back over there. You know, some guy just came, took me out, and I heard a pop, and I tried getting back up, and I just fell back down. But I was, I got nothing but bad, bad. I got bad knees, bro. Bad luck, bad knees. So you didn't play your freshman year? Nah, bro. I didn't play my freshman year, so I redshirted. So and it was COVID. So um, I mean, I still got like in the COVID era. Yeah. Mm. So I did that. Um, and then my sophomore year, I went back. I got recruited as a striker. They put me in the CDM position. It was nothing that I wasn't, you know, familiar with. So I did that, and I mean, it was a, it was an alright experience, you know. Yeah. I didn't have a good experience like you, all American and all that. Nah, it was something brand new for sure. College soccer, from coming from, I guess playing from. Keith Park, you know, nothing but red to leg soccer. I got to play one year, that's Classic League, with Bro GP. Okay, so you only played one year in the league, Classic League. Yeah, yeah. I never got to, bro, it was red. 
I'm select my whole life, bro. It's hard work and grit. Got me here, thank God. But yeah, I did that. And so the level of international players coming down, like this was the first time I played against international players. Yeah. Players out of the country, out of the state. It was a challenge you could tell. It was a, a different challenge from East Park to college ball. But like, you're doing pretty well now. I mean, you with you with us sidekicks yeah, and because yeah. I because I started playing the club when I was like eight. Started with the Texas Academy. Texas. Yeah. So you been the youth academy. Yeah, I, academy? I was I was playing classic league for about I played for eleven years, classic league. Yeah, ten, eleven years, and Dallas Cup five times playing Dallas Cup. Yeah, so I mean. Wish. Yeah, you, you you got talent then. You got talent. Wish. Yeah, I mean just but just imagine you know maybe you would have, you you know. Yeah, if I was still, still enough for that. You still. Still young, bro. You still young, so. Still enough for that. Still got some. Hey, you were two left in me. You take care of the knees, yeah, though. Yeah, I take care of my knees. <laughs> this ain't no joke at all, bro. How'd you uh? So, I forgot. Uh, so you how, how did you get into sidekicks or what? How did that go with that? So. I was gonna stop playing. Like originally, I was oh, done. No like after college, I was like, man, I think it's just time to hang the boots up. You know, I didn't have any connections over here at all. Yeah, I didn't know anywhere what clubs to go to or another. So, uh, you were already done with school, right? Yeah, bro. I graduated with my construction management degree. Okay, and then I got my my associates. Yeah. You came back for the summer, right? Came back for the summer, started working, and I was trying to become an intern to like for that my degree. Yeah. I didn't like it, you know, honestly. Yeah. You know, this was my dream to become a professional soccer player. Yeah. So, I mean, I was, you know, I wasn't tripping, but I was just going to, like, hang, hang the cleats up already, you know. I didn't see any anything else. I'm mm-hmm. a mom, seen a, an ad on Facebook, or I think it was Facebook. I'm not sure. But she was like, hey, this team's having tryouts, professional team. It's 100 bucks. I'll pay it. Just show up and, you know, showcase your talent. Yeah. Like, oh, for sure, mom. For sure, you know. Whatever's going to make you happy, bro. She, she believed in you. Yeah. That's what's up. She seen something in me that I didn't. Yeah. You know? And um, so I I come up. It was uh, around 60 players at the, at the showcase. Trials. And um, thank God I got selected for each one to keep coming back. And then uh, at the end, they selected four players. Two of them got cut. Um, Were you at the combine or you at the tryouts? Tryouts. Trials, trials. Trials, trials, okay. yeah. It wasn't the combine. And now it was just me and Yalda. So, yeah. So, I guess it paid off those hundred bucks. It came it came from that, bro. Two out of them. You two were one of, of the two out of the 60. Yeah, two out of the 60, bro. I was one of them. Hard work, man. But, nah, I really was surprised, man. Once, uh, once um, who was it? Coach Fabinho came up to me after one of the trials. He's like, hey, you know, we need to sign, we need to sign four players right now. I was like, man, what's up? You know, we're down, we're already. Yeah. He, we came up here to the island, and I was all musty, all sweaty, man. I signed the contract, man. Oh, I called my too. mom. I am mom. We made it. <laughs> we made it. You know? yeah. Nah, bro, I was happy, bro. Yeah. So excited, bro. So, you know, coming from a small college, coming from reg to, you know, signing my first professional contract. Yeah. Man. Man, true blessing for real. How'd you hear about it? I got invited. Uh, Coach Rika uh, reached out to one of the coaches he knew, uh, and I'm friends with that guy. And uh, he had mentioned that Rika was uh, he was you know just seeing who was interested in coming out, and I was like, yeah, I'll come out. So I was on the practice squad for about a month or two, and then. Yeah, because like, I have seen you. I remember you being at, like in the beginning of the trials, and then you just disappeared. Yeah. Nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that because at that time I was being a assistant coach at Hill, so I was coming back and forth. Yeah, and then in that time, uh, my girls, my girls team, we went to we went to nationals, so I was up in uh, what was it? Was it North Carolina? They're JUCO, right? Yeah, we're JUCO. Yeah, Georgia. We're up in Georgia. How'd that go? Yeah, they uh, it wasn't it wasn't we we it wasn't what we expected, but um, you know, as long as they got the experience, you know, like that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I kept coming, showing up, and 
You know, it took me a week or two to get used to the feel. Man, my first practice, man, I could just I was I was gassed. And I'm and I'm I'm staying in shape. I always stayed in kind of thought I stayed in shape for, you know, for opportunities maybe that come up, you know. And uh yeah, I mean I, I was I thought I was in shape, but I guess it's just Man, with indoor, it's way different bro, from it's outdoor. Way man. faster, bro. It's like more uh, man marking. Yeah. You know, and it's you gotta follow your man. You know, in outdoor, you can lose the ball up front, and then you know you can chill. Bro, a little bit. You know, bro, not bro, really bro, chill, bro. but you can like catch a breath. Indoor man, you you lose the ball, bro. You better start running. Bro, you bad gotta go back. Yeah. You start running. So it was way different, and but it, you know, after like two or three weeks, I was I was in it, and. Uh, you just, just got to be smart on how you make your runs and how you play. and How you play, bro. Your touch, bro. Everything. Bro, yeah. I my very first practice. And the trials, you know, it was... I've played indoor before, you know. Yeah. Not professionally, but, like, yeah. at Soccer Plaza, mm -hmm. like, Soccer Zone. Yeah. You know, just with friends, bro. In my very first practice with the team, man, I was gassed. Everybody's good. That's why. Everybody's good. Their touch, bro. Yeah. Jamie's touch. Vic Morris. Oscar, bro. I remember my first practice with Oscar. Yeah. Crazy, man. Ballers, man. Yeah, they're ballers. Like, if your touch isn't on point, forget about it. Forget about it. You're getting clamped up, man. Right there, <laughs> bro. And the fitness, fitness. Yeah. Bro, like you, bro. I thought I was in shape, bro. Mm-hmm. Come here. Oh, no, nah, bro. You got to do more. Calves on fire, man. Nah, bro. Calves, quads. Yeah. I was reaching for air, bro. I couldn't do it, bro. I could not do this at all, bro. Plus, yeah, plus we got Blas and Ramon. Ramon. Yeah, me, man, guarding Blas in, in training. It's like I can't even see him, what's in front of me, man. Giant, bro. He's, he's playing the wrong sport. He plays yeah, some basketball yeah, or like, something, bro. Dude's tall, dude. Tall, oh, bro. Big old. So I'm like, don't, don't I, I got I to gotta foul him. No. Nah. Foul him a little, little shirt tug. Sure. Got to do what I got to do. Okay. You get upset, too, nah, but. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. Nah, bro. No, sorry, Blas. Sorry, Blas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, bro, chill out. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm sorry. Came up with something bad. I'm like, half your size, man. What do you expect, you know? For real. But that's crazy that we get to play with people like that and, you know, the league, especially. You know, in the past, I've seen uh, a lot of uh, pros that used to play in the MLS national team come to the league. And, you know, it's a good experience, man. But, uh, yeah, knowing that you're playing yeah. against them at that level. Yeah. That's, that's a true blessing for sure. Yeah. So what made you get interested in? Coming to... The like, indoor. The indoor? Indoor, yeah. Man, just uh, like I said, I knew pretty much everybody on the team. Um, played with them around Dallas. and Man, I played a lot of indoor ever since uh, I was kind of done with the Open Cup. I think it was like 2018. I started playing a lot more indoor. And... It's kind of the same way. I play a lot of 5v5, 6v6. Mm. So I'm kind of familiar with the rotations and how to play and how to move, you know. Not, but that, this wasn't nothing new. No, nah, the, the way we play is nothing new. Nah, I think just the quality and seeing how, you know, how you got to move. Yeah. So, you know, at times. Players. Yeah, how fast you got to move. That was a little bit different, but I kind of knew how to move. I mean, I've been playing with some of these guys for a while. So uh, I, kn I knew it was new to you. Yeah. Bro, you had you had questions, yeah, yeah bro, during question, training. Bro. Yeah, bro, I did not know anything. Yeah, follow your guy type dude, bro. I did not like that, but if you mess up, you mess yeah. up, bro. And it causes a goal. But but now that you, got, we both got our rookie season out the out the way, bro. Out the way, man. What was your favorite favorite memory, bro? That you got selected for those games you got selected. Man, it was. Uh, I had to say. My favorite memory was probably uh, getting that dub. Oh, the last game? Getting the W. Nah, bro. It's... Nah, I was getting the W. Yeah, it felt good, man. It felt real good. And shout out shout out to the fans, man, because, you know, die, die Hard Psychic fan. No, for real. Man, they were, they were so excited we got that game. It was, man, it was, it was awesome. Like, the season wasn't good, bro, but that game was just something special. Yeah, and it's going to happen. We, seasons like that are going to happen, but, you know, just the fact that we have those fans that stay loyal, it's, it's crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, I need to stay. I need to keep supporting, bro. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this, keep supporting. Bro. Shout out to y'all. No, for real, all love, all love, respect for <laughs> y'all, Just keep coming, showing yeah. up, man. Y'all make us happy.
Yeah, because I was one of I was one of them those kids uh, that were at the games. I was one of them growing up. For real? Yeah, I used to go to games at the Reunion Arena right here in downtown. Downtown when they were in downtown. Yeah, I used to always go, and it's crazy now. Like you. Now you're one of the players that the little kids looked up to. It. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy. Time flies though, man. I'm gonna be 28 this year. You're 20. How old? 20, bro. You're 20. I was gonna say 22. No. You're 20. 20, bro. Now you doing something right? Yeah, I'm trying to, bro. You doing something right, man? I'm about to, I'm gonna be 28 this year, so um, and everybody, it's funny. Everybody thinks I'm like, yeah, we think it's I'm cool. 20. It's cool, you know. I'll you're take young, it, bro. You look really young. I didn't even know you're 28, bro. What? 1995. Five. 95. What are you? 2002. <laughs> 2000. Uh, damn, bro. You old, bro. Old. How much? How much you weigh? What? 65? 165? 165? Yeah. Awesome. I, I could have I swear you're like 170, at least 170. What you? 165. Yeah, 165. Nah, we the same. Same, bro. We the same. Yeah, because I, I remember when when, you had, when I was like guarding you and stuff, like, yeah, you, you got a little, you got, you little, you know, you built a little bit. That was back then. I'm like, man. that was back then? Yeah, that was back then. I'm a different person, man. I'm like, it's going to be a different person. Yeah. Bro. Hopefully I could. My position. That's what I'm saying. You can like shift the ball. You you're good at shooting. You're you're strong on the ball, so that's good. That's what I'm saying. Like you're 20 and uh, I'm 28, you know. So like I was like, okay. So now I knew that you know. Right. Yeah, on, respect, man. man. Respect, man. So, bro, have you been watching the any Gold Cup games, the Mexico versus USA this past week? N- not really, man. Cause you know. I'm, a, I'm more of a trainer, so uh, I do train on the side, so I really work in the evenings. Mm-hmm. I just sometimes don't have time. But uh, that Mexico USA, I I did. They got did here, bro. Yeah. They got here. As as per usual. No, nothing as usual. usual. You know. Yeah. But man, you know, back in the day, uh, I used to support Mexico. Back in the uh, day. Yeah. I can go the other gold cup. Not no more. What's up, man? I, you know I'm still a Mexico fan, but I gotta give respect to USA, man. I gotta give respect. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean they're cold, bro. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they got some good. talent, bro. Yeah, man. a lot of European talent. That's... I just, I just don't know, man. Mexico, they just, they, they dropped a little bit, but you know, like I said, like uh, I gotta give credit to USA, but not, most of their players are playing in Europe, and they're, they're getting. Probably way better training, but I mean, uh, yeah, that game I was going for USA, but <laughs> like I said, it's always crazy, man. Like well, when they ripped the uh, McKinney's. Nah, it's, they got needed, bro. I feel like Mexico just somehow. Did you see that foul though? Before he, they ripped the shirt, the Mexico, the, the that player, he just clipped them. I feel like after we started losing two zero, they're like, man, if you're not going to win the game, man, we might go win the fight. You know, Mexican, you got yeah, it. Yeah, you got some blood for you should, sure. You know, huh? Yeah, for sure, bro. That's how it is, bro. <laughs> but like, nah, it was. It's always like that. I feel like right now, Mexico just isn't. You know, they don't got that structure right now. The coaching. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they don't have a, a good captain to really lead the team. You know, they got Memo Choa. Yeah. Um. What was that guy? That's a leader. Who's their Guad- captain? Guardado. Guardado, he, Guardado. He's yeah. reti- retired. He's retired now. Bro, yeah. He was copy. I think it's Memo right now. And now it's Memo. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. But I like yeah, like you said, it's more of a they got they got some years. Uh, maybe in a couple maybe next World Cup. Yeah. We're gonna be back. Yeah, we're gonna we'll be back. back. You know what was it, twenty eighteen World Cup? Yeah. Germany? Was it twenty eighteen? Yeah. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Hey, we go South Bay. It's nothing new, bro. Yeah. It always happens, you know. But USA's on it. USA's on it. USA's on it, bro. Canada, too. Have Canada. you seen Canada? Up on to David, bro. Man, they're coming up, man. They weren't even ranked at one point. They're, nah, they're watched. I mean, last World Cup, they really didn't, you know, do that much. Yeah. But I feel like now that they got their structure going, nah, yeah. bro, it's going to be a lot of cold Canadians out there. Yeah. Especially Davis, man. Davis. Is yeah, He's Davis. A, He's a different. He's a different animal, but uh, does it. who do you think is gonna get? Who do you think is gonna lift the trophy up? Nah. Go cut. Mexico. Mexico fan, bro. You got Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Even if we're not doing good, hey, you gotta represent. Man. Uh, true colors, man. I like that. I don't I like, like that. some people like. We got you, man. Yeah, I'll probably go to USA, but like I said, I'm a Mexico fan, but 
you know, then again, you know, like, I got to give credit to USA, you know. They bought me, bro. They bought me. And uh, what you think of Messi going to Miami? To Miami? Messi, Miami? Like, that city That's gonna go crazy, crazy, bro. City's going to go crazy. Have you seen the his contract? Yeah. All this contract deals he's getting, mm-hmm. ownership, all the brand deals. World Cup winner right there, bro. Yeah. World Cup winner. The tickets went from like 80 bucks a ticket to like 600 bro. Imagine making that much of an impact on the game, bro. The goal, man. What hasn't he won? Bro, I respect, bro. He's, what, he's he, the goal, bro. He, he pretty much accomplished everything. Yeah, he's, he needs to retire soon, bro. Yeah. I mean, I doubt that he will, but... Getting pretty old, you know. He's, he says he says uh he's not gonna go to the next World Cup, but you said that. Yeah, he said that already, but I don't know. I think yeah, I think he can. Yeah, I got some. He's what thirty four. But what what else is there to prove? You know. Yeah, I mean, he can win it again, and he can show for real for him to go. <laughs> he already won it, bro. I mean, he's got yeah, he's done everything in soccer, bro. Champions League, World Cup. Oh, everything, bro. Out of everybody, man. I'm surprised he's going to MLS. Because, you know, you got the Beckham. You got the Slatans. Uh, but Messi. Messi, bro. I really thought he was going to Dubai, bro. Yeah. Or Saudi on, Arabia. On, on that dude? On that, on that dude? On that, on that deal? Big old deal, bro. What? what would you do? If you was in that position, bro, what would you do, bro? If I was making... For the money, bro. Man, Messi was already making money. Um, but I don't even think... For, for, but for Messi, I don't even think it's about the money. You know, uh, then I wonder what made him go to, you know, to Miami, bro. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. So uh, this is your first ever, my first podcast. It's my very first podcast yeah. ever, bro. Yeah. Awesome. Different. Yeah. Is this, you know, something different? You know, no. It's nice though. You know, it kind of opens. You know, like what I like, what I like to do is like experience, like try and try new things, get out of my comfort zone. It's always nice. Get yourself out there. Yep. Something, bro. But uh, I'd love to be in another one for sure. Yeah, I got the opportunity, bro. Uh, hey. for sure, love to be in another. One. It'll get easier, you know. Yeah, but you know, a little jiggers, but it's alright. So uh, we'll end it on that note. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for all the support. My boy Raul here. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Ready for season? Ready for season? A couple more months. Um, hope to see you guys soon. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you on the next one.